Hello you guys and welcome to my channel. This video is going to be my April Battle of the Boxes. If you have come to this video, that means you want to see who I decided is the winner of April, who I think had the best box of this month. So if you guys want to go ahead and see my thoughts on the boxes and see who wins, let's go ahead and get into the video you guys. and show you guys my ipsy bag first when you get your ipsy bag it comes with the hard sock shite show and this is with a gabby and god i can't remember the other name but i'll figure it out but they're just adorable aren't they and then it comes with this cute bag that just fits the theme sideshow. It is, of course, like a carnival ticket. So I think it's really cool. It's just like this nice corally pinkish orange color. And it's I love it so much. I thought it was just going to be like kind of horrendous when I was like looking at the picture. But now that I see it in person, it is I just love the bag. So we're just going to go ahead and go into the first product. And this is the H2O Beauty Keep It Fresh Face Cleanser. And this is for normal to dry skin. So this is perfect for my skin type. And I have been using this since I've received my bag. And I love using this cleanser. It is a very gentle cleanser. And it's just it works amazing for me and I love it so much. The next product I got in this bag is the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. And this is in the shade Show Me. I just love how that name fits in with the theme of this month. And it's just so perfect. And this is just this nice bronze color. I used this in one of my looks like last week. And I love it. It is a gorgeous liner. And I think I'm going to be using it more often because I like to do the neutral smoky eye looks every now and then. The next product that I got in my bag is the Naked Cosmetics Heavy Metal. And this is just a nice coppery pigment. And I'm not going to go ahead and open it because it's just going to fly everywhere. So I don't want that to happen because it's happened to me before. So I think that goes well with the gel liner that they gave me as well. They go hand in hand. And then the next thing that I got is another brush. This is from the brand Luxy. And this brush is the 660. And this is a precision foundation brush. So it's not like, like my flat foundation brush that I like using. This is a little bit different. So I'm interested to see how this works. I feel like I'm missing something in this bag. I don't know if I took something else out, but I'll have to figure that out. The next box I'm going to go into is my BoxyCharm box. And I just love this box so much. It's one of my favorite boxes to receive. And the theme of this one is a Boho Glow. I think that is so amazing. I got different products in my box. There, I guess there's like two different boxes going around. And I really wish I got the other box because I was really wanting my beauty blenders. I really thought I was going to get some beauty blenders, you guys. But it's okay. I'll just have to purchase them. I really like this box for this month. I already looked into it. But the first product that I do have on here is the Time Repair Serum from Aloet, and this retails for $30. This is a powerful age-defining serum portrayed with alpha and beta hydroxy acids to smooth away dead skin cells and powerful antioxidants to protect skin from damage, damaging free radicals. Formulated for all skin types, this non-irritating lightweight formula absorbs quickly and fully to diminish the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles for a renewed radiant skin. So I already have this. I already received this before. So I'm going to go ahead and include it in one of my giveaways in the future for you guys because I already have one of my own. But I really like this product a lot and I keep it in my purse. The next one that I grabbed is the Ofra highlighter in the shade Rodeo Drive. And this retails for $35. It says soak up the summer sun day or night with Ofra's Rodeo Drive highlighter. This radiant new product captures the luxury and glamour of the famous street in sunny california this highlighter is a little bit dark for me but i love using it anyway i just need to go more light-handed with this color i'll go ahead and swatch it on my arm because my hands are really dry and it's just so gorgeous you guys i really like this highlighter. The next one that I'm going to grab out of here is the Pure Brushes. This one is the Liquid Chisel Brush, a large flat-headed brush with very soft bristles for liquid complexion products. And then this one is a Blurring Concealer Brush. I'm really excited that I got these in here because I love brushes.
brushes and I've been wanting to have one of these types of brushes for so long I finally got them but I was really wanting the pure cosmetic sponges that I saw in the other box that they are giving out so they have two versions of this month's box one has brushes the other one has beauty sponges and I was hoping to get the other one but it's okay you guys and these brushes retail for $16 each the next one that I'm gonna grab out of this box is the concealer collection and this is by the brand measurable differences and it has a bunch of these shades in here Let's see 16 colors to be exact so it's a like nice starter palette is $20 so it's very cheap and affordable I don't think the colors are super pigmented though that's the only downfall but all you gotta do is just build it up a little bit and it doesn't take but a couple of layers to build up the color so it's just a nice starter concealer palette and it has 16 shades so that's pretty neat the last one in this box is the eyeshadow from cargo and this is in the shade Yukon so when I opened this up earlier it just kind of exploded it got all over my rug in my bathroom. I'm not going to open it up because it's just a big explosion mess in this tiny tin. Let's not let it explode again, please. It exploded all over my work shirt. I was so upset and it exploded on my floor and everything. So, I mean, there's still a good amount of product, maybe a little bit over half, but a lot of it just went everywhere. I'm just going to leave that in its tin. I'm not going to open it. And now I'm going to move on to the last box of this month, which is the Sephora Play Box. And I've already took a peek in this one as well. So we're just going to go ahead and go in here. I feel like I took something out of here too, but I'm not... I'll have to grab it. So we do have the Purity from Philosophy. And this is just a nice facial cleanser. And it is nice and gentle. And I'm really excited that I got this in here because I've been dying to try it. Because I've been hearing so many great things about this. And I just haven't had the chance to actually buy it and use it. So I'm excited to go ahead and test it out and see how I like it. The next product that I did get in here is the Sephora Waterproof Makeup Remover. And I'm going to go ahead and include this into one of my giveaways in the future just because I have enough eye removers and I have enough makeup removers that I can give this away for you guys. And then I got another Smashbox photo finish foundation primer in here so I might put this in a giveaway as well just because I've already got two or three of them lying around. The next product in here is a clinical skincare from Peter Thomas Roth and this is the Water Drenched Hydronic Cloud Cream Hydration for up to 72 hours and I tested this out on my hands and oh my gosh you guys seriously like do you see how dry my hands are right now they looked all cracked and everything. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to my hands real quick. I know it says to apply it to the face and neck, but the hydration on this is just crazy. How it'll like, you guys will see like my hands will look like they're brand new. Like they're all like super cracked and dry. I know I'm horrible at putting the lotion on my hands. At least I know to moisturize my face. At least I can remember to do that. But my hands seriously look like brand new. Like look, my hands don't look cracked anymore. That is Crazy. It is like super hydrating. Yeah, so I think I will love using that for my face as well. And the last product in my Sephora box is the Makeup Forever Aqua XL. And this is a waterproof eye pencil. And this is in the shade black. And this is very pigmented. I used this the other day in one of my makeup looks because I ran out of my Marc Jacobs one that I had. And dude, like the pigmentation on this eyeliner is just insane. And it really does not like budge too much. Once, you, once it's straight down, it really doesn't budge. So that is pretty crazy. So now it has come down to me picking the winner of April, who won Battle of the Boxes for this month, you guys. It's really tough to say who I think won. I think they all had really amazing products that I enjoy from each one. Oh. I forgot the perfume. I tried this. I tried this out and this is from Mumu? Mimu? Mimu? I do not know how to pronounce this. It's M-I-U, M-I-U. But I really like the scent of this and everything. It is floral. Top notes is Lily of the Valley. Honeysuckle, Jasmine, Rose. Ooh, yes. No wonder why I like it so much. All right. So I think between all the boxes, it is seriously such a hard decision to make. There's several amazing products in these boxes and I just it makes it hard for me to choose who is the winner of this month's Battle of the Boxes. I'm going to have to say it's a tie between all three of them. I can't I can't decide. They're all great boxes this month. I didn't even think there would be a day where there would be a tie because usually one is just better than the other, but this month 
they're all seriously amazing and that is my decision on this battle of the boxes so thank you guys so so much for watching and I hope you guys have an amazing day and don't forget to subscribe because I am posting new videos every Sunday and Wednesday for you guys so be sure to subscribe so you'll never miss any of my videos so why not anyways don't forget to like this video and give it a thumbs up and you guys have an amazing day peace out